Peace to the guys and guys of the planet Kai, Rashad, Jamal, checking in for 33rd Parallel, Atlanta, Georgia, Atlantis, capital of Atlantis, ain't you? Uh, we still working on this album, Only the Real Gun Relate, you know what I'm saying? I'm here in the, in the yo with my brother Streets behind the camera, my family in the booth, you know what I'm saying? That's the university, and my brother Jay Penn in there doing his thing, so we just vibing. But uh, tonight we're working on this, on this record. Um, two records actually, we, we gonna record Demons. I got Satan and his kingdom after me. I see Lucifer and Lilith in my dreams. Try to pray away my demons, they won't leave. This the sixth night I been up, can't get no sleep. But I Basically, demons is about how, you know, we be trying to break away from our root chakra. You know, cause you got seven chakras, you got the root chakra, which is by, by the anus of your asshole, that's the lowest vibration. And then you have the sacral chakra, which is the penis and the vagina, which is why when we have sex, we gotta, you know, it's really an energy exchange. That's why you're not supposed to have sex with anybody because they carry the spirits on them and they can pass them to you from their penis or their vagina. So like, if you have sex with a goddess, right? And she had sex with three, four other gods before you, and let's just say they wasn't mentally right. They had been going through some shit. Well, them energies and spirits she gonna pass to you through her vagina because your, your penis is your sacral chakra. It's the tip, that hole is the vortex. Same thing with the guy, you know what I'm saying? He could be vibing high, but if you go have sex with, you know, a, a goddess and she just happened to not be right, you know, she could be feeling bad, she could be having a lot of negativity hitting her, she gonna pass that energy to you and all type of bad shit happening, you down, you don't know why. It's the energy exchange, so that's the sacral chakra. chakra. The third one is, um, it's the solar plexus, which is where your soul is at, you know what I'm saying? The fourth one is the heart chakra. Then you got the throat chakra, which deals with telling the truth. And then you got the brow chakra, which is your third eye, which, which is allow you to see things clear, clearly for what they really are. And then you have your crown chakra at the top of your head, which deals with detaching from the reality that's major. So, tried to pray away my demons, they won't leave. This the sixth night I've been up, can't get no sleep. I got Satan and his kingdom after me. I got real fallen angels after me. Illuminati want my soul, but they can never get my soul, no. Alright, sound, sound like I'm in there, like I'm ready. <laughs> like I'm ready to be great now, God. We ready to be great now? We love a rich ink. <laughs> we love a rich ink. See, we got J Penn on the ones and twos. See the university, they in the. They out there, the guys and guys. We building a plan, building an album, building a lot. But we ain't gonna show everything on camera because we know they always watching. You feel me? That's how shit get infiltrated. We ready, God? I'm just talking to the camera. Okay. <laughs> I'm just talking. I know you record. All right, we good on the hook? All right, bet, bet, bet. The whole thing? All right. You want me to say it twice? So. This record, Demons, is all about how, you know, no matter how much we break from this matrix, at the end of the day, we still in the matrix until the system is completely eradicated. It's in game now, the system is implode within itself. But you can be trying to do the right thing and you'll still, you'll still get caught up in this matrix. So um, that's what Demons is about. It's all about, you know, uh, I'm talking about how, you know, I'm trying to become a better individual. I didn't conquer the root chakra. I didn't master this chakra, that chakra, that chakra. But I still got these, these, these demons or these devils. It's really, it's really gonna be trickery because like when we shoot the visual for it, it's gonna be so dope because the visual is just gonna basically show you how the whole time I'm running from myself. I'm running from these demons the whole time. But the demons is a part of you. You got 72 demons in you and 72 angelic beings in you. Together they combine to make 144 energies. These are all feminine energies. These are Titan ancestral energies. This is what the vaccine is about. This is why they, you know what I'm saying, want everybody to go with the vaccine because this sun warming up, we going through what they call global warming. But it's not with no such thing as global warming. That's really just like the poles shifting. So they don't want to tell black people that and what it's doing to our genetics. You get what I'm saying? So um, our genetics are being altered via the sun, you know? so. This, it's basically unlocking these 72 demons and these 72 angelic beings deep within you. These are feminine energies. Together they combine to make 144. Alright? Now, they taught you in church or they teach you anciently that demons is a bad thing because that's a part of you. No different than when they taught us 
hoodoo and witch and uh, voodoo and all that was bad when that's our ancient religions, our ancient practices. Like back in the day when the slave, um, when the slaves was in the, was, was being enslaved, they was turned into voodoo and, and, and hoodoo. You know what I'm saying? Because this they was using to make the master hair fall out, make his teeth fall out, he he died, his wife died. This is what they was using. So to keep us from that ancient ability, what we anciently practiced, they taught us that voodoo and hoodoo was bad. We grew up thinking that shit was bad. So it's the same thing with the demons terminology. They basically tricked us because Satan, this is kingdom. So he tricked everybody into believing that he didn't exist. And he got us thinking that demons is bad. Demons are the feminine energies, a part of us. The feminine principalities, I mean, principles, a part of us. Now, devils would be a part of Satan's kingdom. The devils, the principalities, the fallen gods, which are the fallen angels. So this whole record, Demons, is about about that, you know what I'm saying? But it's a play on the words, because I'm talking about how it's demons after me, and I'm trying to be this better individual, but demons after me, you know, um, a lot of business a lot of business deals coming my way, but it's it's being revolved around. I'm trying to get you to sell your soul, to sell out of, or um, straight from what you stand for, what you represent, and I'm not going to allow that to happen. So the whole record is about that, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, the visual going to be dope, because with the visual, we going to make it, you know, when y'all see the visual, y'all about to see the visual by the time this shit out, but in the visual, we're going to make it look like, you know, I'm running from these demons the whole time. But at the end of the video, it's really going to be me running from myself. And that the people I was around who I thought was the good people, they really represent Satan. And that's how he worked. Like, Satan hide amongst you. You know what I'm saying? He He's around you. Him and his fallen angels. These fallen gods. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't even like to call them fallen angels. But they are fallen angels, fallen gods. Same thing. So that, you know what I'm saying? They be sending me death threats, all that shit. You feel me? So... That's why I'm saying that like I got Satan in his kingdom after me Cause every time I try to unplug us They come at me harder, you feel me? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like Illuminati Yeah, I see the tattoo, I'm like Illuminati This shit real as fuck I'm like, shit, Illuminati want my soul You feel me? They ain't gonna get it though That's really what they own with me right now, you feel me? That shit ain't even a song Yeah, the first time So it's like, now it's like Oh yeah, we gotta get his ass, you feel me? And when they deleted the page, when I was just trying to let everybody know what the police was on me down there in Wanda and shit, they deleted the page, they blocked me from going live, I knew what it was then. I'm like, oh yeah, they on some, cause it ain't like, I posted, I posted my son laying in the bed with another nigga cause she said he wasn't my son. Right, so that was on top of the line about the case, so when I, as soon as I went to post the shit, they took my live. I told them, I'm like, man, they just took my live for posting my motherfucking, like damn, they want my y'all to know what's going on, you feel me? And then when y'all pulled up, and then I went to post a rally, I posted it. I didn't even get the post shit from it, really. I just posted, like, a little. We was out there, and it was like, I got on it like, you gone, it's over with. But luckily, we had the backup page. So it was like, it didn't really seem like it fell off from nothing, because the backup page was already, you feel me? Yeah, you feel me? That's why I just made up other two pages. That's even this, like, expanding with, like, bringing the models in, the artists in. That's the expansion of it, because then it's like, now y'all gonna have to, it ain't just hardcore lectures. It's like if we slide some music in there and we slide in the pictures in there and we slide, we can kind of finesse them to make them think we ain't on shit, but the whole time we on the same shit. And I think in the video, I might even show like how when I went and sat down with Atlantic and them and they offered the $2 million a couple years back and they wanted me to suck dick and wear dresses and do all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why when the Me Too movement came out, that came out after my situation, so I was like, man, they ain't even good. Telling a half of what the fuck they be on. You feel me? You know they ain't gonna tell it. But well, they gonna tell it, but they ain't gonna tell it. Yeah, they ain't gonna tell it. <laughs> and that's what me. I'm just telling everything. This yeah. motherfucker, cause I told her about the parties and everything. Like they really do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like fell in love with the truth, and I promise to never leave her. Hey, you know how to be. I'ma speak on it when I see it. They took the land from my species and gave us a white Jesus. Now they gonna pay blood, and I put that on them Mauritius. Fuck them lizards. Run the world and I ain't talking about no get goals. And yeah, we made this world, but they still treat us like we guess. Change our future with this chopper, make them dance like DJ Esco. Been a young thug, but you won't catch me in no dress. Club. Peace to the guys and guys of Planet Kai. I'm here with my sister Sydney, you know, one of the newest brand models over Real Over Rich. And like I say, right now, Real Over Rich, we pulling a lot of different, you know, just an outlet for creators. We, so we pulling and we looking for, we still looking for artists. We more models, male models, um, well, male models, female models, um, singers, people that do, I mean, if you paint, and we need all that, graphic designers, uh, we just building up, so, you know, um, sis, she actually a part of the actual university, and that's another thing, too, like, anybody we working with, like, I keep, like, I was telling y'all when Jazzy was, was here, um, 
we just want to work with individuals that's not trying to sell their soul that fully understand the purpose and the meaning of real over rich and us being guys and goddesses so it's most of the individuals the souls that's a part of the movement they already like in the university cosmic intelligence we watch the lectures we feed off the energy we know who the real ops is we know this is our planet this is our land we taking it back so right now what we doing is we just it's a lot of creativity but we it's hard for us to be creative in the format we want to be creative in because you know these people want you to sell your soul and stuff like that so i appreciate you know um souls like my wife souls like jay Penn help with the engineer souls like sydney right here and her god they actually the university like they actually came to the rap like it stood there with me and my wife you know what i'm saying well you know the police trying to fuck with me right now the government for you know trying to wake what well, waking our people up and helping them facts you feel me said let them know I just believe in everything being organic, so I don't believe in rushing it. I know that the, the ancestors, they, they want this project to raise the frequency. So that's why I'm taking my time and I'm being real, you know, conscious of what I'm saying in the beat selection. So when 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 he sent me, he sent me like 10 of them, everything I heard was like smacking. But then he told me that you was you tapped in. So when he told me you tapped in, combined with the credentials, that just gave me like a bigger idea so i'm like so we approach it yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm like hold on that gotta go we gotta get at least two three joints on here yeah. so now that kind of like made me step back and be like okay how i wanna how we wanna come at it with that you know what i'm saying because so like shit it probably i wanted to drop on the 22nd but it probably ended up dropping like the first or something yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel me like yeah yeah definitely like that shit like i ain't gonna lie to beast you send you them joints heavy